The recent days have seen rising lawlessness near the border, doubtless the consequence of the instability in Glenbrook. Indeed. Lord Sparag, I... Forgive me. I... I forget myself, my lord. It's too late for that. Out with it. My lord, the bulk of our forces are occupied abroad, leaving only scant numbers at home. The longer this campaign continues, the more fraught the situation within our borders becomes. Your concern is duly noted, Sikris. Rest assured that the Archduke is not ignorant to such issues. And besides, strength of arms is not the only means by which order is maintained. The time has come to gird our nation with fire and steel. Fire and steel, my lord? Yes, we shall fulfill our duty at last. Cordelia, what's wrong? Brother, I... they... Calm yourself. Take a deep breath. Now, tell me what happened. I... I heard them talking. I wasn't supposed to, but I heard them. Thallus and... Oh, Roland. The Archduke... He means... He means to order your execution! <gasps> Grave news, my lord. Prince Roland is to be beheaded at the Archduke's decree. What? On what grounds? For inciting unrest by ordering the invasion of the Falk's domain. The gall of that man! Furthermore, House Wolfert has been invited to attend the execution. Our presence is mandatory. Yeah, of course it is. That sneak. Do you mean to go? We dare not disobey the summons. The consequences would almost certainly be dire. Are we just dogs to answer his beck and call? My lady... Please, I understand. But we have no choice. I know this, and I apologize. It's just that... There are things we must protect. Things I must protect lest we lose what makes us human. News of Prince Roland's coming execution is carried far and wide. In the blink of an eye, the kingdom of Glenbrook is no more. The realm reels from the tragic turn of events. Prince Roland's death marks an uncertain change in the flow of history. A change which none in the old kingdom have the power to reverse. However, the eruption of conflict in the region does not go unnoticed by its neighbors. In the holy state of Hyzant, opportunistic hearts stir.
My dearest friend has been sentenced to die, and there is naught I can do. What use is a lord's position if he can't even save those closest to him? Saranoa, you mustn't... Is it true? Another ravenous dog is stirring? It is. We face none other than Minister Sorcelay End, one of the saintly seven. It seems he means to take our domain for his own. House End? Their position in Hyzant has been in decline for some time. Doubtless, Sorcelay means to use the Walford domain to bolster his flagging influence. My lord, our soldiers have had scarce little time to rest since our last battle. I fear for their morale if they were forced to take the field against Hyzant. Is there not we can do? We have sent request for aid to House End more than once, my lord. However, our pleas have always fallen on deaf ears. Doubtless Sorcelay has been biding his time to strike. Then it is too late for words. There must be something we can do to avoid straining our already ragged forces. There is, my lord. However... I dread the words that follow however when they come from you. Let us ask the Archduke for assistance. Are you mad, Benedict? We must needs focus on the matter in front of us. If we weather this storm, we may see that it has unearthed unseen opportunities. However, if we let Sorcelay's advance continue unabated, I'm afraid retreat may be our only option. You are right, as usual. Very well. Ready a bird. Your Excellency, our troops have boarded and are awaiting your orders. Good. Stand by until I give the order to depart. We make for the Wolfort Domain. Upon the foundations of their keep, we shall build the glory of House End. Tell the troops, they shall be well rewarded for their feats of bravery this day. Yes, Your Excellency. I see House End has raised their banners. I can practically smell their greed from here. Doubtless that slug Sorcelay is licking his lips even now. I did not think House Wolfort would deign to request aid. They surprise even me. Has the young wolf learned to swallow his pride? What should we do, Your Grace? We cannot very well be seen to ignore those under our protection. Go. And what of Prince Roland? That shall have to wait. We may have use for him yet. Recent events have not quelled your desire for knowledge, I see. You make your teacher very happy, Frederica. It is progress that I can see. I enjoy the growth that comes with learning. And you should be proud. Sheila, why do you think my brother attacked Glenbrook? War is a means to an end, always. 
The question is, what end does he hope to arrive at? But what could he hope to gain by raising the castle? I can see no point to his cruelty. There is always a point, Frederica. As for whether others agree with that reasoning, well, oftentimes that doesn't matter. How dreadful. Why must it come to arms? Why can't we settle our differences with words? So long as men covet, there will be war. That fact is immutable. Then war will continue forever, so long as men exist. Isn't that what you're saying? Indeed. History has attested to that fact time and again. What could there possibly be in this world worth risking life and limb for? I cannot fathom the answer. And tis not a question you should trouble yourself with answering, Frederica. And so did the two forces converge on the Woolfort Domain, now the linchpin of the Norzellian continent. From the west, General of Laura leads the might of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. From the east, Sorslay End of the Saintly Seven commands an army from the Holy State of Hyzant. From within the heart of this maelstrom, one man strives to find the path that will see the house he serves safely through the storm. Benedict Pascal, steward of House Wolfort, wise in war and peace alike, contemplates what to do next. Release his fetters. Yes, your grace. You look well, my prince. What are you doing here? I bring good tidings. Your execution has been stayed. And I have a request to make of you. What? What have you not already taken from me? The good tidings did not end with Elise on life, my prince. I mean to marry your sister. What? However, I fear that without your assistance, she may not be entirely amenable to the arrangement. Has your ambition driven you mad? I'll hang before I see you wed! Hmm. I had feared you might say that. In the days ahead, do remember that at first I attempted a diplomatic approach. You bastard! Report on our current situation, if you will.
Yes, sir. Both Esfrost and Hyzant have mustered armies, and are drawing upon Castle Wolfort as we speak. Given the sudden military action, Prince Roland's execution has been stayed. Oh, thank you, Anna. We have much to consider. may be grim, but there is opportunity in chaos. However, we have scarce little time to find it. What are you thinking, Benedict? Are we to seriously consider fighting under Esfrost's banners? The time that House Woolfort could stand alone ended with the Salt Iron War. There is no future for us if we do not cast our lot with a greater nation. However, we at least have the freedom of choice. Choice? What choice do we have? I see. You had an ulterior motive to requesting aid from Esfrost. Just so. We could offer Hyzant a glorious victory. The Archduke's army would be caught off guard. Are you certain Hyzant would offer us asylum? Most certainly. House End would be eager to bolster their flagging reputation by defeating Esfrost in the field. Doubtless, both nations view us as prey on its last legs. They forget that a cornered wolf is the most dangerous. That means we must consider allying with Esfrost as well. If that is what we decide, then so be it so long as we decide. Esfrost did not ignite the fires of war lightly. They prepared for 30 years. Even so, they would only have acted if they had confidence in their chances at victory. Do you believe Esfrost's ambition could swallow even Hyzant? That ain't the point, after what those bastards did. I can't well say I savor the thought of fighting under them. Couldn't look at myself in the mirror, in fact. Nothing would be more shameful than failing our duty to our house. So we have to decide then. As Frost or Hyzant. Neither force has the upper hand. Our choice will surely guide the tide of battle. Very well. Then, let us consult the scales.
We must decide. However... Certainly not. Hmm. I think... I don't know. It is time to cast our votes. Do we join forces with the army of Esfrost, or do we choose to side with Hyzant? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I stand with you, my lord. I have no qualms with that. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen.
The way forward is decided. We ally with the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and decimate the Hyzantian forces. The road forward is decided. We shall join forces with Esfrost to crush the Hyzantian army. I shall send word at once to begin planning our strategy. I'll tell the guards to shut the gates and tighten their patrols. Thank you. Then let us attend to our duties. Minister Sorsley, leading the forces of the Holy State of Hyzant, moves to oust the embattled House Wolfort from their castle home. The once proud House has found themselves shorn of the freedom they held so dear, and trapped between two nations bent on expansion. Their only hope of survival is to cast their lot with one of their would-be adversaries. Sarah Noah chooses to side with the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. Although the wounds of recent betrayals have yet to heal, he sets aside the burden of his grudges so that his name may live to see the morrow. Sheila, tell us what you know about this Minister Sorsley. Sorsley is one of the Saintly Seven. He oversees the salt harvest at the source and the Roselle to work there. His authority over Hyzant's salt gives him great influence, but many whisper of his petty and jealous nature behind his back. So he's got the resources to put up a fight then, eh? And he has been preparing for this moment. We can expect his forces to be well-provisioned and well-trained. He is not an opponent to be taken lightly. There is a reason he sits among the Saintly Seven. This may be our hardest fight yet. Hence the importance of our alliance. Without Esfrost, we are lost. The future of House Wolfort will hinge on the hours to come. May we all arrive at the end of them safely. House Wolfort shall persevere. My lord, we've received word from General Vlora. She plans to meet the enemy army at the docks. She asks that we meet her there at once to hold a war council. Then let us not keep her waiting. And you are certain the other saints harbor no suspicions? House End is known for its clandestine dealings. They suspect nothing outside of the ordinary. Good. Do not fail me, Booker. We must open another transportation route now that Glenbrook is close to us. We mustn't let a mere war stem the flow of our... goods. Of course, Your Excellency. Once we have secured the Wolfort Domain, I suspect our work will proceed even faster than before. To say nothing of the accolades you are sure to receive from the Holy One for bringing Wolfort into the fold. Hmm. At last, Exham and those sniveling upstarts will know their place. They will see who among the Saintly Seven truly wields the power. As will the Holy One. It is time to grasp the glory we deserve, Booker. To Wolfort Harbor!
I've had enough. You've had enough? Where are your manners? You are our captive, and it is only by my brother's grace that you aren't eating scraps off the floor. She should be crying tears of joy for our largesse. Perhaps she still has delusions of royalty. We should disabuse her of such notions. She must learn to finish her meal, even if we must force it down her gullet. Don't flail too much, dear, else this fork might prick something it isn't meant to. Get away! What is that infernal racket? She's so cruel, brother. She said she spits on Esfrost's generosity. Must you bicker like children? Remind me how old you are, Erica. Have you finished with your duties, brother? If so, perhaps we could enjoy a meal together. My duties are endless. In fact, I would have you two oversee our occupation of the capital in my stead. Can't you have that brute of Laura do it? General Avlora is a field. House Wolfort has requested our aid, and they deserve some token for handing us the prince. Your options for rescue are fast dwindling, princess. It must be tonight. Our scouts have sent their report. Hyzant's forces will arrive at nightfall. We will do battle in the dark, then. We should map out the perimeter and terrain before they come. You sound frightened. There's no need. My troops shall make quick work of Sorsley. You will see that giving us Roland was the wise choice. I simply think it best to be prepared. There is no room for regrets in battle. She doesn't think much of us, does she? Are you certain she can be trusted? We are allies, for now at least. That being said, Esfrost only benefits from us being indebted to them, and from seeing our numbers diminished. So, she'll help us win, after she watches us grind each other to a bloody pulp. I'm afraid we will have to disappoint her in that regard. She will see this day how House Wolfort earned its reputation.
So, you have accepted the embrace of your enemy while the blood of the king is still warm upon their hands. All I do, I do for my house. And was it for your house that you betrayed the prince you called a friend? I must admire your lack of scruples. We are not so dissimilar, you and I. It is for the glory of my own house that I must divest you of your own. You talk too much, Swordslet. Pretty words cannot hide that ravenous glint in your eyes. Ah! Esfrost's dog is in no position to lecture me on greed. All that matters is victory. Save your moralizing for the histories. Then you are bent on seeing this war continue, I take it. Stand back, Your Excellency. These worms are not worthy to face you. Allow me this pitiable task. Your loyalty is duly noted, Booker. I expect a grand display. Lord Serenoa, on the battlefield, justice is decided by strength of arms. Naught else matters. My sword shall expel these intruders from our land and protect House Wolfort's honor. Very good. Troops, advance! Lord Serenoa, we shall form the vanguard! Understood. your service.
Capture the Woolfort Domain, and the future of our house shall be steeped in glory. All troops, advance! Today, we show Esfrost and Hyzant that we will suffer no invaders in our home. Let us pry out their weakness. This must work. I will end this. I will crush you! What are the auxiliary troops doing? Board the boat and cut through their flanks! General Avlora, your strength is legendary, even in Hyzant. However, every legend must meet its end in time. Every defense has a weakness. <laughs> now what to do? On my honor as the Dawn Spear. It ends. Shall I? The battle has only begun. shall prevail. Prophet comes to the prepare. Did Lionel have your attention? I'm afraid this may hurt. For my lord. Minister Sorcelay is watching us. 
Do not disgust him with failure. Sir, we'll drive these curves back to their hovels. No true pain. Yeah. I shall protect you. Prepare yourself. That must yourself. have hurt. You have the chance. Ha! Too slow. Shall we begin? to the prepare. Serve well. You are so well, that looks painful. Thank you. 
try this. Victory is within reach. I will crush you. Yeah. Just for you. For my lord. You are so naive. That you are lord. so naive. I shan't hold back. With a single blow! Your defense that went well. I cannot give up. I think my fist struck true. Choices, choices. How's this? Dare. Cool heads shall prevail. I'm behind you, my hero. You cannot impede progress. You are too slow. Well met. But where shall we strike? I do not leave survivors. Time to work. In reach. Just sound strike. Ha! Too slow. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Behold! 
They won't Just go as down I easy. Plan. For these old bones. Here I come. Once more! Just as I planned! Choices, choices! It's big oh, enough! That went well! Shall we begin? Not impede progress. Lionel shall give it his level best. This is no fighter. No, how could I bear to face Minister Sorcelay after this? Time to work. Silence. You won't fool me. There is no mercy on the battlefield. You were overconfident. Forward. There is a oh. chance. I will crush you if I must destroy Follow myself. My lead. So be it. Too obvious. Here I come. Let yourself open. This is unpleasant. Yeah, you let well. yourself open. My age is catching up with me. I think not. I will end this. Death. Sound strike. Death. I shall do what I can.
your hands are I appreciate it. Shall we dance? Strike a deal? I do not this will hurt. I shall try my level best. You were overconfident. Forward. by my design. Prepare yourself. I think not. The hunt is on. If you dare, cool heads shall prevail. Try my level best. This must work. 
defeat is not an option. Face me if you dare. You are too slow. Time to work. I see right through you. I shan't hold back. Look carefully. Prepare yourself. Here I come. Come if you dare. Let me heal your wounds. Allow me. You'll be well compensated. Shall we dance? Behave. My turn. You're too slow. I see a path to victory. I'm afraid this may hurt. I need a healer. For the honor of House Wolfort. Unite under the Wolford well banner! Done. Ah. Ah. My turn! Is this how it ends? Face me ah. if you dare! If I must destroy myself, so be it! Prepare to face the Dawn Spear! All by my design. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> Allow me. I, see. I don't pull my punches. Not another step! I shall do what I can. Profit comes to the prepare! Lionel, have your attention. I will end this. I will leave you defenseless. 
This is the end. <laughs> now what to do? Good night! This bout is mine! Let us pry out their weakness. My turn. Where shall we strike? Shall we begin? I shall protect you. On Lionel. Now then. to the prepared. Too slow. Shall we dance? Think you can catch me? How's this? Let us pry out their weakness. Wolfort. Flee while you have the chance. You'll be nothing but a blood stain upon my blade. Cool heads shall prevail. You have my thanks. On my honor as the dawn speaks. You can. just as I planned. Allow me. Left yourself open. Booker, you incompetent weakling! How could you be defeated by this rabble? Your Excellency, I have failed you. It is ended. Our home is safe. How 
How will history remember this day, Sorsley? I think it will remember it as your last. Wait! What are those flames? That smoke, those explosions, they come from Castle Wolford. Byzantine reinforcements! Exham! What in the blazes are you doing here? I am here to declare myself the victor. My thanks for the diversion, Minister Sorcelet. What? You snake! Is that any way to speak to the hero who won the day? Castle Woolfort has fallen by my hand. He speaks true. The flames have been lit. They signal our defeat. Only a trusted few know to light them. No! Then the battle is ended. It would be folly to shed blood further. Defeat is not an easy draft to swallow, but a good general knows when to retreat. For that, she has my respect. And what of you, Lord Wolfort? Your father and subjects are as of yet unharmed. I yield. I shall give the order to lay down our arms. Three armies clash, their battle cries ringing across blood-soaked fields. When the chaos subsides, the gallant figure of Exum Marshall stands victorious. General Avlora sees the tide turning against her and retreats before it swallows her whole. The bitter taste of defeat is unfamiliar to her tongue. Don't think that seat's meant for you, friend. Lord of the house only. Ah, but who is lord over a fallen castle? By rights, it should belong to its conquerors. From my perspective, it is clear who that is. Those purple flames. So that was the full measure of Hyzant's new weapon. Beautiful, no? 
courtesy of our capable researchers at the Ministry. I'm afraid it's still a work in progress, but I hope you found our initial display compelling. If not, I'm sure my men could be persuaded to give another. There is no need for that. I will not see my people suffer further. I'm glad we've reached an accord. Leave us. Yes, my lord. What is the meaning of this? It is all too easy to make enemies when one is young and talented. And so every so often I must put on a display like this. Anyhow, I've come to speak with you, Lord Serenoa. Once I've said my piece, we shall leave. What could I possibly gain from hearing you out? There are parasites within Hyzant that grow fat on the Goddess's blessing at the expense of those who deserve it. I would ask for your aid in purging the sickness from our beloved nation. I'm listening. Go on. Before boring you with details, allow me to give you this. What is it? The latest medicine developed at our ministry. And why would we need anything your alchemists brew up? Lord Simon will be back on his feet in no time. Ah, so the rumors are true then. Curses! Hyzantian trickery! The draft is efficacious, you can be sure. His heart will beat as steadily as it did in youth. Thank you. Pray save your gratitude until after you've heard the favor I ask in return. You would propose a deal. I would. You are familiar with Minister Sorsley End. As head of his house and one of the saintly seven, long has he overseen the distribution of salt which would be all well and good, were he not profiting personally by abusing his station. He peddles salt outside the purview of the Consortium. But how is that possible? A man of his influence has his means, no doubt. The Consortium is not well liked by all, tis true, but they have done more good than harm in ensuring that each nation is given fair treatment in matters of trade. If these claims against Minister Sorsley are true, he would be in direct violation of the Accords. Precisely so, and in his violation he would leave an indelible stain on our nation's reputation. Who buys his ill-gotten wares? Esfrost? None other, my lady. We have witnessed as much. Then you understand that his greed touches the lives of people even outside our nation's borders. Which brings us to my request. What would you have us do? I would see Minister Sorsley relieved of his position. And his life, I take it. A man after my own heart. Speaking of which, I pray your Lord Father sees a quick recovery. Now, I shall return the castle to your safekeeping. That's quite generous of you. I've already made quite the request of you. To impose any more would be unseemly. I take it this request isn't one we can refuse. You're quite perceptive. I like that. Well then, I shall take my leave. May our next meeting bring good tidings. Do you require assistance, Your Excellency? 
I require silence. Can't you see I'm thinking here? Exham's meddling is... unfortunate. He hid his investigations well. He may have already poisoned the Holy One against us. We must take action, and soon. If our dealings were to come to light, it would have grave implications. Do you understand the meaning of silence? If you insist on pestering me so, then tell me what you would do. I... I would do whatever Your Excellency commands. He is commanding you to find him a way out of this mess. Have you no ideas for me? I... fear not, Your Excellency. Useless! Would you see me dead, then? <sighs> we can't let the Wolforts fall into Exham's clutches. They are too valuable. I must find a way to make them see the upside of being in my good graces. Delia! Shh! You have to run now! Come out, come out, your highness! Not so loud! Anyone finds out about this, it'll be our heads on pikes! Fault. Nonsense. You're more courageous than you know. It's time for us to go. Cordelia? I'm... I'm staying here. What? Why? After all this? That is all the more reason for me to stay. I will avenge our family. I will find out what Esfra's schemes are, and when the time is right, I shall bring them down. You intend to wed the Archduke, then? Yes. I will come for you, sister. This I swear. Until I do. Take care of yourself, will you? It seems Hyzant has withdrawn from the Wolford Domain. And left the Wolfords with their independence? How very uncharacteristic of them. Doubtless they mean to use the Wolforts against us. The illusion of freedom will make them more pliable to an entreaty from their... saviors. So not only has House Wolford defied us, but the Holy State stands with them. I suppose even zealots can be coaxed from their pulpits. General Avlora reported the use of a weapon which caused an explosion of purple smoke throughout the battlefield. Yes, not but bluster and fury for now. But who knows what may become of it in time. The situation has become... vexing. The failure was mine, Your Grace. Failure does not become you, Avlora. You know what I expect. May you never utter those words in my presence again. Yes, Your Grace. Have you news of the Prince's whereabouts, Thalys? I'm afraid not. 
information seems to have slowed down to a trickle. But worry not, brother. The sizable bounty I put on his head should motivate the more industrious of our subjects to action. We cannot let him live. Find him at all costs. My lord, the prince has returned. What? Is he hurt? Slightly the worse for wear, but he appears hale, my lord. I feared we wouldn't see the day. Sarah Noah, will you welcome an old friend back into your home? With pleasure. Anna, does anyone else know of Prince Roland's whereabouts? None. Of that I made sure. Only those present here know where he is. Very good. Let no one else approach these chambers. Gustav plans to wed my sister. He will proclaim his intent soon. Cordelia? But why would he do that? To secure his stranglehold on Glenbrook. So, the throne was his goal all along. In that case, why murder his own king? That bastard. Schemes upon schemes. Cordelia seems to have accepted her fate, but I refuse to. I need to stop this wedding. And I need your help. We must put an end to Esfroth's machinations once and for all. Together. Can I count on you? My prince, as your friend, I must be frank. We find ourselves in a delicate situation. A single rash move could mean the loss of our home. For now, we must let Hyzant and Esfrost think our loyalty can be won by force or intimidation. And to that end, we have a bargain with Hyzant to fulfill. That must come first before all. I see. Of course, I cannot blame you. You have subjects to keep safe, after all. I apologize for imposing. I shall leave this place. Only tragedy will come if I stay. My prince, if I may. Considering recent events, there may be no safe haven for you in all of Norzelia. However, I have a proposition. Speak plainly, Benedict. What is it? Give me your royal signet. Apologies, but I will not be able to return it. My signet! The last proof of my lineage. But why? So you may die, my prince. Don't you have anything to say? I freed my brother. We are to be wed. I must learn to forgive such rash impulses as you are prone to have. I spit on your forgiveness. I'll never return your hollow gestures. As you wish. Your brother has nowhere to run in any case. However, House Wolfort is a nuisance. A nuisance I cannot expunge without earning Hyzant's ire. Hmm. But it would seem that no longer matters. My hour has arrived. Mine. The time has come to carve my mark 
into Nozelia. Hey, boss. Come take a look at this. The poor soul. Or maybe not so poor, judging by these clothes. Hey, Pa! Remember what I said about that reward money? Of course I do. This might just be him. Take a look at this! Shiny ring, huh? Is that uh, the royal emblem? This has got to be Prince Roland! The corpse is regrettably too damaged to identify. But the royal signet is unmistakable. Aside from Cordelia, there is only one who would wear the royal family's ring. There can be no doubt, this is Prince Roland. S -s Excuse me, your grace, uh, but about that reward... Thallus, give them their coin. Yes, brother. Thank you kindly for your generosity, Your Grace. What a waste. Is this truly how the Kingdom of Glenbrook meets its end? House Wolfort are no fools. Their friend was only a liability. They have spared themselves by forsaking the Prince. They may have escaped, but there are none who would help them. There is no reason for us to concern ourselves with House Wolfort any longer. A shame. Your poor brother, betrayed by his most trusted friend. And so, matters with the Wolforts were settled, as peaceably as could be expected. I trust they shall flourish with your support, Minister Sorsley. Your story leaves me with one question, Exam. Was it not your forces who took Castle Wolford, yet you leave them with their freedom? One so accustomed to the intrigues of politics surely sees the reason why. Their true enemies are thus frosty. And the Hierophant would know the true reasons behind Esfrost's recent machinations. In this endeavor, a free ally would suit us better than a beaten subject. I see. While kept on a short leash, they can be useful guard dogs. But that leash can always be cut if they prove feral. Just so. An open hand in the right situation can win so much more than a closed fist. You may be right. Ah, but, before I leave, the Holy One expressed some concern for you. Have you had any troubles managing the salt as of late? None at all, naturally. Splendid. My lord, a bird from Sorsley End of Hyzant has arrived. He has offered to send us provisions and funds in light of our situation. 
A most welcome offer, to be sure, but... Why would he extend a helping hand to us now? Could he be after something? Undoubtedly, there are regrettably none so altruistic amongst the saintly seven. Seeing as Minister Sorsley has never shown much interest in other nations, I can only surmise this is a ploy to put House Wolford in his debt. As I suspected. But our people and soldiers need all the help they can get. This is also a good opportunity to fulfill our promise to Minister Exham. I assure you, Minister Sorsley won't be the only one with ulterior motives in this exchange. Let us accept his proposal. Understood. We shall discuss our countermeasures at another time. The news of Prince Roland's death spreads across the land like wildfire. With his demise, seemingly comes the end of the Kingdom of Glenbrook. But only days later, a proclamation is made that would bind Esfrost and Glenbrook. Bearer of the Royal Signet and last heir to the throne of Glenbrook, Cordelia is to ascend as Queen. and wed Archduke Gustadolf. Princess Cordelia is to wed the Archduke? What is the meaning of this? Gustadolf is the very one who invaded Glenbrook! But King Regna is to blame for trying to monopolize the mines! What does it matter who the princess weds as long as Glenbrook lives on? It damn well matters to me! My people... Our days of late have been dark and filled with strife. Both Glenbrook and Esfros have suffered countless losses. And we have lost both of our beloved princes. For that, I offer you my deepest condolences. May they all rest in peace. As you all know, my father was sentenced to death for his role in this tragic event. But how do we come to grips with our sorrow and anger? How do we atone for our mistakes? Esfros does not deserve your forgiveness! Do not submit to Gustadolf's will! Let us recognize our sins as such and move forward. Archduke Gustadolf has magnanimously given us another chance. A chance to see Glenbrook to a fair and free future. As the queen of this kingdom, I, Cordelia of House Glenbrook, do hereby accept the warmth and governance of Esfrost, and swear to do everything in my power to usher in an age of peace with the Archduke. With all due respect, sir, I do not believe Queen Cordelia to be fit for ruling Glenbrook. She does not need to be. She is to be our figurehead. A place for the people to focus both their hope and discontent. And while the poor people of Glenbrook stumble in the dark, we shall establish a new government. One based in freedom. 
Once the people have had a taste of true freedom Esfrost would offer them, there will be no turning back. By the time Cordelia births an heir, both this kingdom and its people will belong solely to Esfrost. I would be loath to stand upon a political battlefield. It is far more heartless than those of war. I am simply breathing new life into a kingdom of tired traditions. The people will thank me for it in time. Prince Roland, have you heard about the address at the capital? I have. I won't forgive them for making Her Highness say such horrible things. Enough, Huet. But they lied about the King's death. They made it seem like Gustadoff was justified. I said enough! Griping about it here won't change a thing. Cordelia is fighting her hardest all on her own. My heart breaks more every day I cannot save her. Forgive me, Your Highness. We all understand how you feel, Prince Roland. No, I apologize. I lost control. Thinking about it will do us no good. We must rise to action. Indeed we must. Everyone knows of your death now. That means we are free to make our next move. Listen, my friends. Prince Roland of Glenbrook is dead. I am now merely Roland, a warrior who fled a fallen kingdom. I humbly ask for your support until the sun shines upon our royal line once again. Is that Sir Maxwell's? That mask. You look just like Sir Maxwell. This is a secret that shall stay within House Wolford. Master, grant me the strength to free our home from Esfrost's clutches. How is he doing? Has he taken the medicine we received from Hyzant? Aye. He hasn't woken. But I reckon he's breathing easier now. Thank you. I am glad he has some relief from the pain at last. I wish I could tell Father about our situation now, but... Lord Serenoa, if your father were awake, I am certain he would praise you for safeguarding Wolfort. <sighs> Sad to say, the real trouble is only just beginning. I'll be damned if House End's protection comes for free. No doubt the longer we stay, the steeper the price. Precisely. Minister Sorsley is not an altruistic soul. If you were in his shoes, what would you do? I would squeeze us dry, then look for an opportunity to... But we won't let that happen. Of course not. Anna is already on the move. It is our duty to protect and guide this house. This heart ain't changed since the day Lord Simon took me in, lad. I'm ready to put my life on the line for this house. We'll get past this, one way or another. You'll see. Thank you so much, both of you.
Lord Svarok, the body of Lord Dragan is... So my son has finally returned home. I will be there soon. Is something the matter? I think it better not to look, my lord. And... and why is that? His face. There is no vestige of the handsome lad he once was. Oh. oh, my son. I understand. You are dismissed. I am so sorry, my boy. Please forgive your pitiful excuse for a father. I will find the one who did this to you. I swear it. I see. So there is an illicit salt trade held outside the auspices of the Norzelia Consortium. In this business, you cannot avoid rumors even if you try. They say sneaking under the Consortium's nose is well worth the risk, but I am not so bold. And who is behind all this? I wish I could say. I am not asking you to tell me for free. How generous of you. It's but a rumor, of course, but... They say none other than Minister End in Hyzat is pulling the strings. And some free advice for you, my friend? You'd do well not to get involved. Why? I'm afraid that will cost a separate fee. <laughs> Why, thank you. On your feet! Water, please! Get back to work! You aren't the only one who's thirsty! No setbacks, I presume? None, sir. We are already well ahead of schedule. Splendid! The ledger, if you would. Yes, sir. I would hate for there to be a problem with our numbers. I will hold on to this for now. Of course, sir. Water! Put the poor thing out of its misery, Booker. <sighs> you must be firm with the Roselle. Show them the slightest mercy, and they'll think they deserve more. Yes, sir!
Saranoa, do you have a moment? I was hoping to talk to you about our marriage. Now that Glenbrook has been brought to ruin by Esfrost, is there any meaning to our union? <sighs> My brother may have been planning this from the start. And yet I came to Wolfort with the intent of marrying you completely unaware of it. It's always like this. Nothing ever goes as I would wish it. The course of my life has always been at the mercy of others. As has mine. Almost nothing happens the way I thought it would. But you have a home. Somewhere you can return to someday. You are surrounded by people who care about you. As do you, as a member of House Wolfort. Your place is with us now. And though this may sound pretentious, this is a time for you to think about your future and what you must do, Frederica. Just as I am. I suppose you are right. What must I do? Here you are. Master Benedict has been searching for you both. Understood. Let him know we will return at once. You said we received a delivery from Minister Sorsley. Yes, mostly food and materials, plus a considerable amount of coin. That is... quite kind of him. House End is a wealthy one, even by Hyzant's standards. This would barely put a dent in their coffers. We have distributed the resources as needed. We've even managed to restock our reserves. Wish I could be happy for the help, but I can't say I am. Agreed. Relying on them comes at a price. They will be looking for recompense. I believe that to be their true aim. But this is the path we chose to walk, together. Indeed. And as long as we stay the course, the winds of favor will someday be at our backs. A missive from Minister Sorsley has arrived. I see he wastes no time. What absurd request could he possibly have in store for us? Nothing good, that's for sure. Yet another problem has arisen, as we anticipated. I would like to ask everyone what they think. Benedict, if you would. Yes, my lord. We have just received a request from Minister Sorsley. We are to deliver his cargo to Esfrost. 
Cargo? A load of salt that bypasses the consortium. He is asking us to be an accomplice to his illegal dealings. It is as Minister Exham suspected. Minister Sorsley truly is abusing his station. and the Honorable House Wolfort to do such a filthy job. No way we'd agree to that. But consider this. Agreeing would secure us proof of his unlawful business. Are you suggesting we report him to Hyzand? I am saying it is an option. You got a point. We have a duty to speak up when something's not right. That's the honorable thing to do. We might even earn the Holy One's trust. Rely on Minister Exham? Would he speak to the Holy One for us? He tried to expose Sorcelay's wrongdoings. Have you all forgotten? Minister Sorcelay is one of Hyzan's saintly seven. His connections run far deeper than ours. We must tread carefully. Then we need solid evidence to convict him. I should think the salt he wishes us to transport would suffice. But we are the only ones that know it. And it is indistinguishable from the salt that is legally distributed. Far from the solid evidence we need. Regrettably so. One false move and we lose both Minister Sorcelay's support and Hyzant's trust. Without proof, we have no choice but to go to Esfrost. of his misdeeds. If 
It comes as no surprise to see our opinions differ. But a decision must be made. To report Minister Sorsley's illegal dealings to Hyzant, or become a silent accomplice. Bring the scales. It is time to make our choice. Sarah Noah. Still. Moreover, Thank you. 
I suppose. Lord Saranoa. Indeed. It is time to cast our votes. Do we follow Sorcelay's orders and smuggle salt across our borders, or do we take another path? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. You've convinced me. I agree. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. forward is decided. We march to Hyzant and expose the Minister's illicit dealings. We have chosen our path. We shall head to Hyzant and alert them of Minister Sorcelay's wrongdoings. Now that we have a heading, we need only move forward. Let us make haste. Indeed. No matter how perilous the road ahead may be, we must not falter. Anna, begin the preparations. Yes, sir. In exchange for his aid, Sorcelay orders House Wolfort to transport his illicit salt. Serenoa, however, intends to bring word of the Minister's crimes to the holy state of Hyzant. In order to succeed, he must delve deep into the nation's internal affairs while avoiding Sorcelay's notice. So you've decided to accept my proposal. A wise decision, Lord Serenoa. As you have requested, none shall know of the salt's dis- But you are still too young for true wisdom, it seems. 
<sighs> he means, let us not speak of the obvious, my lord. It's prudent to speak as little as possible to prevent any unnecessary complications. One never knows who might be listening. <laughs> Fortune favored you with a capable retainer. I beg your pardon, Minister, but I must entreat you to recall the aid you offered in exchange for ours. I give you my word it shall be done. Booker, I'll leave the rest of the arrangements to you. Yes, Minister. If you all will follow me into the antechamber, we may discuss the details further. send an army to test our borders. They are soldiers of house and by all appearances. Sorcery, you go too far too often of late. Perhaps this means the rumors are true, Minister Kansal. There is still nothing to conclusively prove N's involvement in illicit salt trading. Which is why you must investigate. You are Hyzant's Minister of Domestic Affairs, are you not? The illicit salt market grows larger by the day, strangling our own trade. Against one of the saintly seven, I can do nothing without the Hierophant's express permission. Perhaps you cannot, but is there not another with plans already in motion? Exham, you mean? Even so, I am not at liberty to act on naught more than a whim. I must prioritize our land's stability above all else. Should I do? You should listen to the Archduke and obey. Is that all the Archduke wants? An obedient wife? And here I thought the Esfrosti valued freedom. So long as you must look to others, you do not deserve freedom. <gasps> freedom is a privilege, and only those with the strength to see their will realized are deserving of it. It is not given, it is taken. And it is not often taken easily. This I know. I see. Thank you. Next time you think to ask that question, answer it yourself. Brother, father, look over me until I find the strength I require. What is Gustadolf thinking to marry a sniveling brat? No glory is worth her dismal company. It is unacceptable. He should have let me deal with those obstinate boars in Glenbrook. made a bargain with Minister Sorsley? The appearance of one in any case. But we mustn't grow complacent. Aye. One of his men wouldn't stop glowering at Benedict. He may yet suspect our true motives. Nevertheless... We shan't stray from the course we've decided upon, if that's what worries you. Tell them, Benedict. Minister Sorsley has asked us to deliver unregulated salt to Esfrost by means of a secret route. 
We shall make it appear as though we are bound for the Grand Duchy, but in truth, we shall divert from the route and make for the capital of Hyzant. I've already scouted the way, a shortcut through the ravine. Then you intend to use the illicit goods to prove Minister Sorcely's crimes to the Hierophant. But will a little salt be enough to land one of the saintly seven in the dungeons? After all, he's influential and well-connected enough to have weathered unsavory accusations for years. If we don't present our case perfectly, we're apt to be the ones clapped in chains, not the other way around. We only need get to the capital for our plan to succeed. The saintly seven may pretend they stand united, but there are cracks in that facade. If we but exert the right leverage, Sorcelay will fall. True, there are those who mistrust him. Minister Exham, for example. Indeed. Now then, we shall depart come midnight. As you command. Eritor. Uh, <clears throat> right you are. Quiet as a mouse, I'll be. Serenoa and his retinue depart the Citadel of the Sands under the cover of night and make their way to the Hyzantian capital. They press onward through the moonless dark, guided by naught but the faintly flickering light of hope. House Wolford means to betray me, you say? What leads you to believe this? A chance sighting one of my vassals had of a suspicious woman, apparently poking around the path to the capital. From her description, there's no doubt she was none other than Anna of House Wolfort. The woman who serves, incidentally, at Benedict's right hand. She is his creature. I see. Then they mean to bring evidence against me. The danger is too great to be ignored, Minister. Indeed. I trust you will take care of it before it becomes a problem. Of course. I've sent soldiers that way already, and I shall join them shortly. No cause to relax just yet, milady. The moment you drop your guard is the moment the enemy's apt to strike. Ain't it, Benedict? Indeed. This is where I would position soldiers for an ambush, were I to set a trap for us. Aye. A hunter would have the upper hand here. Let us scout the area to be safe.
first. Have you found anything? No, my lord. Only our own footprints. Strange. Few travel this path, but it is still traveled. Someone must have covered their tracks. Well, if it isn't House Woolfort's motley crew, imagine my surprise at finding you here. Whatever are you doing? We were merely on our way to... No need for pretense, my lord. Not when his life is forfeit for having discovered us. I think you have it the wrong way around. Die. I'll give it a try.
I'm on it. I... I'll do my best.
You'll have to be cleverer than that to outwit me. Here! This is what you get for trying to make fools out of us! We must put an end to this. Take them all down! So it comes to battle. Defense has a weakness. For my lord. I will end this. the dawn speak. With a single blow! Now then. Can't miss. To work. I use this. For victory! Try this. Yeah. 
Watch out for the archers up there. Saranoa, we must do something. If we stop moving for even a second, they'll have us. <laughs> There's nowhere to run once it starts raining arrows. Defeat is not an option. I shall do what I can. I have Tides more if you turning. require. Shall have to kill you myself. <laughs> that hit the mark. My lord! A waste of effort. <laughs> this bout is mine. It's time. This should do it! Time to work. I will leave you to this. Allow me! Every defense has a go through that looks painful. Effort. I shall try my level best. Let us reverse our fortunes. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear. That seemed to work. <laughs> now what to do? Use I this. will remember this. To work. The 
This will be fun. My turn. shall prevail. Fear not, for I am by your side. You are that looks for the honor of House Wolfort.
I shall protect you. Your final moments approach. Shall I? I will fight if I must. Choices, choices. shall prevail. I will remember this. Every defense has a weakness. Time to work. Where shall we strike? Yet out of reach. Get up here. You won't fool me. I... <laughs> I'll give it my best. Be 
you go. Ready. I will end this. Try this. This is not good. Bask in your final. Stand back at you! On my honor as the dawn speaker. They won't go down easy. My fist struck true! Much appreciated. My turn. Did you see that? Because well met. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. This will be of great use. Ah, allow me! From where shall we strike? I failed to stop them. I failed House End. Impressed? There is no mercy on the battlefield. This may hurt. A wasted effort. Oh. Ha! Too slow! My turn. This is the end.
Let's go then. I shan't hold back. Your final moments approach. I cannot give up. I well will pull my punches. I'll give it my best. Here you my go. Thanks. I shall do what I can. Your wings are my utmost thanks. My turn. is mine I see right through you there is no mercy on the battlefield I'm afraid this may hurt ah! ha! for the honor of house Wolfort. Blow. Behold, just as I planned. Now then. I think not. If that went well, I'll give it my best.
Sorry. Shall we dance? Let us pry out their weakness. I'm afraid this may hurt. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. The tides are turning. Must have hurt. To work. Dawn Spear. Follow my lead. Allow me. Ah, just you poor thing. Let us pry out their weakness. We must move fast. Shall we begin? Allow me. My thanks. Let's play. Right, that was the now part. me. My turn. Yes, victory oh, is within reach. Test just for you. Remain calm. I won't lose. To work. I strike true. Forward. On my honor as the dawn speak. Shall I? You will not strike me.
Have mercy. Victory is ours. Surely we needn't shed yet more blood. We cannot spare him, my lady. Not when he knows what we intend to do. He was complicit in the salt fraud, was he not? Perhaps he might agree to bear witness for us. Yes, yes! I'll tell you everything! Whatever you wish! Then let us attempt it. Fools! You haven't won yet! Once I report to Minister Sorsley, he will crush your pathetic house! You certainly took your time, Anna. No more than was necessary. <sighs> Unfortunate. We'll have to find another witness. His lips may have been sealed, but it's only a matter of time until this betrayal is discovered. We must prove our case before that happens. Come, let us hurry to the capital. After surviving an ambush at the hands of Sorsley's retainer, Booker, Serenoa and his retinue arrive at the Hyzantian capital. Exum Marshall is absent when they arrive to denounce House End's crimes, and they are denied an audience with the Hierophant. Still, another of the Saintly Seven, Minister Kamsal Farrant, who oversees domestic affairs, agrees to hear them out. I thank you for bringing this matter to my attention. That said, salt makes for poor evidence. There's simply no way of telling legitimate goods apart from illicit ones. Surely, as Minister of Domestic Affairs, rumor of Sorsley's illegal salt trade has reached you. Rumor, yes, but nothing more. From foreign sources, no less. I cannot help wondering if these rumors are more intended to drive a wedge between us and Sorsley and in doing so, throw our land into chaos. Not that I would question the honorable intentions of House Wolfort, of course. I understand you have good reason to doubt in your position, Minister Kamsel. May I ask if you know when Minister Exam will return to the capital? It is difficult to say. He is a busy man. But, Weeding out corruption is a duty that falls to House Ferrand. If you find anything else, pray. Inform me at once. Of course. So, he wants us to bring him further evidence before agreeing to aid us. Even one of the Saintly Seven can only act upon the surest foundation, it seems. House Walford, eager to report House End's illicit dealings to Hyzant, rebuffs an attack from Booker, Sorsley's loyal assistant, and gains entry to the city. Alas, Kamsel, one of the Saintly Seven, informs them that charges cannot be brought without hard evidence of Sorsley's misdeeds.
I see the salt matter is being addressed. Exactly as you predicted, no less. I never expected House Wolfort to so much as entertain the idea. The Wolforts are formidable, always striving to do the right thing. Which is also what makes them so easy to manage. What are you scheming now? Scheming? You make it sound so scandalous. All I do, I do for our beloved Hyzant. Do not play the fool. I know Minister Edor has taken notice of you. You would do well not to let it go to your head. I certainly cannot bring myself to admire the man. Oh, why ever not? Tis not worth going into detail. Suffice to say, I would not mourn him should some grave impropriety come to light. Then, for now, let us gleefully await the Wolfort's next move. Tenebrous. Gloomy as ever, I see. Minister Sorsley, I see you are in high spirits. And why shouldn't I be? House Wolfort is ferrying my salt as we speak. An illustrious house from the Salt Iron War trying to win my favor. It's laughable. But can they succeed, being as ignorant to the circumstances as they are? If they fail, I simply lay the blame upon them and see their house duly punished. I shall gain merit in place of money. <laughs> I did not take you for an optimist. Or have you forgotten of Exham and Camsell's suspicions? You speak as if it were my problem alone, my dear Tenebris. Do not misunderstand. It is because we are tarred with the same brush. But I have come to warn you. Your dealings of late have grown, perhaps overly so. You would make an enemy of the other saints, should they notice. And would you too turn against me, Tenebris? Um, most certainly not. Our fates are tied. Good. Now leave me. Pray, be careful, Minister. What need have I for caution? I have never failed, nor will I ever.
了解だよ。かしこまりました。
了解だよ頑張ります。終わらせましょう。お守りします。ついてこれますかよっこらしゃった甘やかしやしないよ勝つその名にかけて。はあ。私のできること。仕事にかかります。仕事の時間です狙います狙います改善の手俺はどうですいこうかい。お守りします。
さんよ回復はお任せを大丈夫私がついていますいけるトリス様のお通りだこっからは私の独断じゃ危ない構えたお任せくださいどうだ負けられない終わりだやっぱりつ仕事の時間です<笑>どう攻めるかこの手で行きましょう手加減なしです。キャトラーゼ。さあて。しやしないよ冷静に行きましょう私らの番です勝つぞ逃げたい<笑>この技ならば参ります。にかかります。ここが踏ん張りどころだ。モルホートの名にかけて。今こそ。どう攻めるか。油断をなさらず回復はお任せを。これで傷ありがとね無駄ですご命令を。無駄です
創世の名にかけて。狙い通りですねよっこらしゃったとどめいい手ですカツド様のお通りだ今です終わらせましょうどこから攻めるか冷静に行きましょう見切りましたマックスウェルマイル後悔はあ食いしばんないいじゃないか出番だな。
勝利への糸口は今です私のできることを。これで傷をこれで戦えますウォルホートの名にかけて天より狙い手応えあり創世の名にかけて。情けは禁物です。
お任せくださいどう攻めるか巻き返しの時仕事の時間です。大丈夫私がついていますいくよみなさんよ手加減なしです。この距離なら負けられない。やったろうじゃない。にかかりますこれからですよ強いです、うん、よう指しないよ命令は回復はお任せを。しますやったろうじゃない<音声>さあ行こう<音声>参りますですね、行きますかこれで傷をよくやってくれたよ。
ありがたい。